What up, it's your boy King Dow 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. And today, I guess this is going to be some education for some people about how a lot of black people land were taken from them. But I like this uh, video because maybe there's hope for the future. Maybe people really could change. I always had hope for the future. 75 million. California beachfront property will be returned to the black family who the government drove off the land 100 years ago. I mean, it's a long time. It's fucked up. It shouldn't have happened. But progress is a wonderful thing. In 1912, Charles, and I hate to say that, like it shouldn't have been taken from these people. And I shouldn't really be happy, but I am. That they got their shit back. In 1912, Charles and Willa Bruce purchased beachfront property in California and turned it into a, a black resort. Another great thing. The land was later taken from them now over 100 years after they first brought it. It's being returned to the Bruce family following the passage of a new bill. That's why we got to be proactive in politics no matter how much we hate the the, the, the politician that's running, eventually, eventually, change will occur. Because the people will fucking make it happen. It's about the people. Let's get into the video. As you can see, I'm kind of happy about this shit. The Bruce family will get their $75 million beach back thanks you. to a new California bill. This property was stolen from the Bruces. We're returning what was stolen, what was rightfully theirs. Charles and Willa Bruce purchased Los Angeles beachfront property in... And this is another aspect of uh, American society. They always like to portray us in negative light. They don't really show the real successful part of us from the past, like the landowner, the successful business people. It's always a negative image of black people. Despite of all the creative shit we've done, these people got their land back. I'm happy. 1912 and turned it into a resort open to black customers. Mm. It was taken away from them by the government in the 1920s, and they were barred from buying any new land in the area. The Ku Klux Klan was involved mm. in harassing them. And when that didn't drive them away, the city government decided to take the property under the guise of eminent domain. The land that was originally sold to the Bruces for $1,225 is now valued around $75 million, bringing up the concept of generational wealth. I said, let's look at the Gettys. Let's look at the Rockefellers. Let's look at the Fords. Let's look at the Bushes. Let's look at the Kennedys. That's what generational uh, wealth could have looked like for the Bruce family. For Anthony Bruce, great-great-grandson of Charles and Willa, it's about more than money. When we were last in Manhattan Beach, the Bruce's, it was a terrible situation for us. With Governor Gavin Newsom's signature, Bruce's Beach will actually be owned by a Bruce. And L.A. County may just have to pay them rent. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman. The Ku Klux Klan was involved in harassing them, and when they didn't drive them away, the city government decided to take the property using the guise of eminent domain. Yes, yes, yes. They did not like seeing those bunch of Negroes down there having fun on the beach so carefree. How dare I got Negroes in my line of sight. See, y'all be thinking this is this is a one and done occurrence. Like we just cry and complain about abuses in the past. But this is generational shit. If you take a person's land from them a hundred years ago, just imagine how much income you strip from their family. Just imagine. Like, imagine if it had all on. This is beachfront property. Like, did they say Kanye bought a little mini mansion on Malibu beachfront property for like $75 million? Like, oh, he got, he got hustled. But that's prime real estate. Man, it happened so many times. Like, it happened in Mississippi, fucking Virginia. 
Man, I'm going to link a couple articles. It, it, it discusses like black land theft. These people got their shit back though. That was in 1920s. In the 1920s, an area known as Bruce's Beach, which was sold to them for $1,225, became Manhattan Beach, which is now valued at around $75 million. Generational wealth. That's how you build it. After that land was taken, the Bruce family was barred from purchasing any new ground in the area. If that ain't racism... Man, you got to unravel this racism that's entwined in fucking America, bro. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. This ain't reparations. That's why I hate the word reparations. You just getting what people owe. What do you think generational wealth could have looked like for the Bruce's? Let's look at the Gettys, the Rockefellers, the Fords. Let's look at the Bushes. Let's look at the Kennedys. That's what generational wealth could look like for boosters. They could be billionaire family. Like that kind of land. But this is your boy King Dial 225 with another reactionary video. So hit that like and subscribe. Become part of the kingdom. You know, I, I'm I'm very happy that this this family got their land back. It's it fucked up. This is just the history of America that we try to deny the many, many fucked up things that y'all that have occurred to black people because of America. Now, I love, I'm an American. I love America. You know? But we need to pay our dues. Uh, repent. I don't want to say repent. You know what I'm saying? You need, to, you need to pay it forward. You need to, you need to pay with your own. It's your boy King Down Two Two Five again. Hit that like and subscribe on my drive for a thousand.